At long last, the day we've been dreaming of is almost here. I can hardly contain my excitement as I think about our honeymoon. Only seven more days until we board the plane and fly away to the most romantic destination in the world. I share your enthusiasm, my love. We have nine glorious days ahead of us, filled with adventure, romance, and laughter. I can't wait to explore the wonders of France with you by my side. I'm going to stop at the bookstore on my way home from work today and pick up a French guidebook. I think it's essential to do some homework before we go, so we don't miss out on anything. That sounds like a great idea. Let's also do some research on the best places to eat. I want to taste the finest wine and cheese that France has to offer. I have a special request. I want to dine at a restaurant with a Michelin-starred chef. I've always wanted to experience haute cuisine at its finest. Well then, we should definitely go to Paris. That's where most of the famous restaurants are located. We can make a reservation online. Perfect. This is our once-in-a-lifetime honeymoon, so let's not hold back. Let's treat ourselves to the best of everything. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, and by the way, there's someone else who's very excited about our trip. Who? My mom. She can't wait to see friends. Your mom? Why? Because she never traveled outside. She's been looking forward to this trip more than we have. Hold on a second. What are you saying? I don't understand why your mom has anything to do with our trip. What? Didn't I mention it? Since mama's never had a chance to go abroad, she decided to tag along with us. You never told me that. This isn't a family vacation. This is our honeymoon, Roland. That's exactly why mom wants to come with us. She thinks it's safer than going with a random tour group, right? I thought you turned her down. How could I do that? It's mom's wish. That's ridiculous. Let me make this clear. This is our honeymoon. What's the problem with having one more person on the trip? We're family after all. I've never heard of a mother who crashes her son's honeymoon. This is beyond absurd. Well, mom is not like other people. Stop joking around. I'm serious. This goes against all common sense. It's just a trip, so what's the big deal? Are you saying that you hate mom? That's not the issue. This is not a normal trip. This is our long-awaited honeymoon. It's still a trip, right? I just want to make mom happy. What about your father? Didn't he say anything about this? Dad's not coming. I thought mom would be lonely, so I invited dad too, but he declined. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Your dad made the right decision. Really? I thought dad said no because he hates traveling abroad. That's not what I meant. He was trying to hint to you that he's not going because it's our honeymoon. You're overreacting. Stop repeating honeymoon over and over again. It's just a trip. We've booked a nice hotel anyway. It's our honeymoon, isn't it? I want to make it special for just the two of us. It will be a wonderful memory for sure. By the way, I need you to do me a favor. Please add an extra room to our booking. And also, please arrange mom's flight ticket. Are you serious? I told you that this isn't a family trip, didn't I? I can't believe you just asked me that. What's wrong with you? I'm not going to do it. It's impossible. You work at the airport, so it should be easy for you to get the ticket, right? If you can, please book the business class. Stop talking nonsense. I'm feeling faint. Mom's getting old, so it's a cruel and inhumane thing to make her sit in the cramped and uncomfortable economy class for such a long flight. We're young and resilient, so we can endure it. Can you please do this one thing for me and arrange that? I can't. You are a heartless and ungrateful person, Molly. Mom said that she doesn't mind if you can sit next to each other on the plane, so you could at least show some respect and arrange her seat in the luxurious and spacious business class. I told you, it's impossible. I never agreed to let your mom come with us in the first place. Don't say that. Mom's so thrilled and overjoyed. You can speak French fluently since that was your major in college. So she is relying on you. You should be honored since mom rarely compliments anyone. I don't care about that. Is she going to follow us around every single day during the trip? Of course. 
I just can't let her wander alone in a foreign country. She'll join us when we dine out too. Do you really understand what a honeymoon is, Roland? Mom isn't a selfish woman, you know. That's why we will be staying in a separate room. So don't worry about it. That's not the point. She is expecting a honeymoon baby, so she doesn't want to interfere with us. We're gonna have to work hard on that. What? That's disgusting. Hey, that's a horrible thing to say. I don't think so. Anyway, if you really want your mom to come with us, I won't go. Oh, come on. Don't be so selfish. Your mother is the one who's selfish. It's our honeymoon. It has to be just the two of us. For your information, it'll be just the two of us in the hotel room. We're going on a honeymoon trip to make unforgettable memories together, right? We can make memories. It's not a problem. Why are you so obsessed with making memories? There will be one extra person there, so she'll ruin the atmosphere. You're being too rude. Think about how you say it. We're a family now. We are family, so normally your mom would respect our privacy and not join us, just like what your father did. Mom says she wants to go abroad a lot from now on. I can't imagine what the future holds if you don't let her come with us. Are you going to treat me like a tour guide? That's so selfish. I didn't say that. You can speak a foreign language and you work at the airport. Anyway, I'll never go if your mom is going. If you keep talking like that, I'm leaving you. Go ahead. I know how desperate you are to go on a trip with your mom. Are you telling me that you're choosing your mom over me? Fine then. Why would I do that? I want to go with the three of us. That's just unacceptable. I definitely refuse. For your information, I don't like your mom. So now you're insulting my mom, huh? That's enough. I'm going to take this opportunity to say it bluntly. She makes fun of me all the time. And she's also vulgar. She is my mom. Well then, I'll make the arrangements. You can do whatever you want. I'm definitely not booking a flight. If your mom is coming along with us, I'm not going. Fine. Have it your way, you stubborn mule. If you seriously don't understand my feelings, I'll reconsider some things related to our future. You're overreacting. It's just a trip. I'll take care of everything. Just come down for now. I'm perfectly calm, so you don't have to worry about me. Got it. It's nine days ahead. So maybe you'll change your mind by then. I won't change my mind. You should know that, don't you? Let's just end this conversation for now. I'll take care of the extra arrangements. You can do whatever you want. I won't change my mind. You don't want to be in a bad mood during the trip, do you? Just do me a favor. Hey, I'm waiting for you at the airport. What? Are you out of your mind? You left me at home and went straight there without me, didn't you? You said you weren't going, so I'm just waiting for you to change your mind and come back later. Me and mom are being generous and considerate to you, aren't we? Huh? I told you loud and clear that I'm not going, didn't I? Mom's waiting for you too. We're running out of time. She's gonna get really furious. Let her be furious then. I'm seriously telling you that I'm not going. I've already canceled my ticket and hotel room. What? You're seriously not going? It's your dream trip to France. I can't believe you just threw it away. It was our honeymoon, but you insisted on having your mom join us. I'm so disappointed in you, Molly. You're too stubborn. Don't you get it? You haven't even spoken to me at home until today. It was hard for me to do that because you were so angry the whole time. I can feel that. I thought the trip would cheer you up, so I was being patient. What? I can't believe you just said that. Well, I can't believe you're that mad at me. Just cut it out, okay? I think you must use some kind of Google search to find out the meaning of a honeymoon. I've been looking forward to it, but you've been ignoring my feelings. Why don't you just go with us? No one said anything about not going. You're really stubborn, aren't you? I'm appalled. I'm the one who's appalled. Did you forget that we have wedding photos planned for our honeymoon? 
We even plan to see the night view. We just need to ask mom to join us. Besides, we can see the night view together. So what's the problem? I think it's more fun if we have more people getting involved. Don't you think it's a huge problem to have a night view date with your mom joining? Are you saying that you don't mind having your mother there for a romantic wedding photo shoot? You're not my girlfriend anymore. You're my wife and you're a family. To be honest, I thought it would be more fun with mom there. Huh? What makes you think so? I don't understand. Leaving my mom who gave birth to me to go abroad on her own? It's a little awkward. Mom is a special person to me. You never said that when we were dating. We went on trips. But you didn't bring your mom there? Why did you decide to let her join our honeymoon? To be honest, I've always wanted to have mom join me at every trip. When we were dating, we were not a family yet, so I decided not to let her join me. Seriously, you're a mama's boy. You're disgusting. I'm not a mama's boy. I just love my mom. Anyway, I don't have time for this. I don't need you to do that. You and your mom can do whatever you want. You'll be in a better mood by the time you get back, right? I don't want to hear you whining or regretting about not doing the trip after we return. I've had enough. You and your mom can enjoy yourselves during the trip. Just forget about me. What a worst honeymoon trip. Well, I'm going to have fun anyway. Yeah, whatever. You're going on a family trip, not a honeymoon trip. You'll definitely regret your decision later. See you. Hey, mom and I just got back from our wonderful trip to France. I don't know why, but we can't get into the house that we used to live in. Oh, you're back already? I've been calling you multiple times, but you never answered. I can't open the door to the house with my key. Where are you right now? Well, that's because you can't use the same key anymore. It doesn't work. What do you mean? I don't get it. What's going on? I already sold the house to someone else. Really? Can you explain why you did that? Please give the real estate agent the keys to the house that you have with you. I'll let him know that you'll be in touch with him soon. Don't play tricks on me. Are you still mad at me? Give me a break. I went to the trouble of buying you some souvenirs from France. I'm not joking. I don't even want a souvenir from you. Enough is enough. I've got a lot of luggage with me. Hurry up and let me in. I told you the house has already been sold to someone else. If you think I'm lying, why don't you check with the real estate agent yourself? No, that's impossible. I have all my stuff inside the house. You can't just move out without telling me. I did move out anyway. I've sent all your stuff to your parents' house in the countryside. You don't have a problem with that, right? What? Are you serious? How could you do that? I'm very serious. I even got your dad's permission to do that. My dad? What? Why? You just moved into the house that I bought with my own money. So, it's up to me to decide when I want to sell the house. Wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense at all. Why is that relevant? Don't you get it? We can't stay married any longer. I still don't get it. What's going on? What happened when I was on the trip with mom? I'm asking for a divorce. I want to end this marriage. Why? We just got married a few months ago. I didn't expect such a speedy divorce either. I'm so disappointed in myself for marrying you. I don't have any intention of divorcing you. We promised to be with each other forever, right? I wish I could have noticed it when we were still dating. I didn't know that you were such a mama's boy. I don't want to stay married to you. Was it because I went on a trip with mom? That's not a good excuse to ask for a divorce. I can't do it anymore. I don't even want to see your face right now. Why are you being so mean to me? I can't understand why you want a divorce. Your dad said that it couldn't be helped. He even apologized to me for your behavior. That's crazy. I'm his own son. How could he do that? Your dad didn't know that you were such a horrible mama's boy. He was really upset. I feel sorry for him. Your dad said that I should seek my own happiness. How selfish. You said that you want to live a happy life together with me, didn't you? Yeah, that's what I thought. But after we got married, 
You always prioritized your mom over me. I'm fed up with your attitude. What's wrong with taking care of my own mother? A good husband takes good care of his mother, don't you think? In your case, it's just too much to bear. You're obsessed with your mom. What? I was just doing what a son should do to his mom. I was so mad when I found out that you are a mama's boy. If we were only in a casual relationship, I wouldn't mind about that at all. I just wanted to show mom how grateful I am to be her son. You're so annoying. Your dad's getting tired of you too. So why don't you go back to your beloved mom? That will solve everything. Mom is important, but you are important too. <laughs> Ugh, you're lying and that makes me feel disgusted. Your mom is the most important thing to you. Don't say that. I just feel like I can finally show her some filial piety. I can't do this anymore. You were posting pictures of you and your mom having fun during the trip on social media without considering my feelings. Absolutely impossible. What's wrong with that? Everyone else is doing the same thing, right? Didn't you read the comments that people left on your post? One of them mentioned that having a honeymoon with your mom is so lame and pathetic. It's definitely out of the question and unacceptable. I wrote the reason why I did that was because she couldn't come with us due to some personal issues. That's not the point at all. Can't you even see that all your friends are upset and disappointed by your actions? You have gone too far and crossed the line. Can you at least allow me to post pictures of our trip and share them with others? I told you, that's not the point either. You don't understand anything, do you? You're clueless and insensitive. Anyway, I don't want a divorce. Where are you now? I'm still in front of the house that we used to share. I'm not going to tell you where I am since I'm already in the new apartment that I rented for myself. Don't bother me and leave me alone. That's where I'm going to live there too, right? We'll be together forever from now on, just like we promised. No way. It's a one-bedroom apartment for a single person. I'm not going to live with you or anyone else. Are you seriously not going to tell me where you are now? Don't you think that's unfair? Of course not. I'm not going to tell someone I don't want to be with anymore. You're being too persistent and annoying. Then what am I supposed to do? How can I fix this? I don't know. Why don't you go to your beloved mother's house and stay with her? I have to get on a plane to get there since it's a countryside and far away from here. You can do that, can't you? It's the best thing in the world to have a mother who loves you and lives with you. No. I love you, Molly. Please understand that. You're the only one for me. I don't want to understand. If you really loved me, you wouldn't do something I don't like and hurt me. I didn't know that you were so upset and hurt. I thought you were just being cynical and sarcastic. I'm sorry. Do you have any idea how much I was looking forward to our honeymoon? I did a lot of research on the internet, and I even sent you pictures of the places I wanted to visit and things I wanted to do. I was also upset when you said that you didn't want to go with me and mom. I thought you were joking. I even made the reservations myself. I wanted to go to Paris and see the Eiffel Tower and the Louvre. Then why did you decide to cancel your reservations? You wasted a lot of money and time. I wanted to go only with my beloved husband. Just the two of us. That's what a honeymoon is supposed to be. I finally understand now. I'm really sorry and apologizing to you, as you can see. Let's get together for the next trip, just the two of us. I'll have it all arranged for you, and I'll pay for everything, anywhere you want to go. Just name it. It's too late. The man I thought I loved is the man I hate now. Just leave me alone and don't bother me. How could you hate me in just a few days? What did I do to deserve this? Because you didn't understand my feelings at all. You ignored everything I said and thought only about your mother. I didn't mean that. I just wanted to make mom happy since it's her first time to go abroad and she's always wanted to see friends. I had a feeling that I would never be your top priority. I could see my unhappy future awaited me. From now on, all you have to think about is your mom. I won't let you be unhappy ever again. I'll do anything to make you happy. 
I can't start a family with you. I can't do it. Please, divorce me and let me go. Don't say that, please. Mom said that she can't wait to see her grandchildren and hold them in her arms. Can you please stop saying that? It's disgusting and creepy. Mom's getting old and she can't wait any longer to see my grandkids. That's why I decided to get married to you. So please, Molly, I'm speechless and desperate. If you want to show your mom grandchildren so badly, do it with someone other than me. It's too creepy and weird. We're married, so let's not get a divorce. Let's stay together and work things out. I can't. I don't care if I need to go to court or whatever. I'll get divorced. I have no property to own, so just divorce me quickly. I've had enough of you and your mom. Calm down. Let's just talk it over, okay? I'll understand if you explain it to me. Just tell me where you are and I'll come to you. I'm definitely getting a divorce, so I won't tell you where I am. If you don't book a flight soon, you're going to have to stand in front of the house forever and freeze. I'm sorry. I'll do whatever you say from now on. I listen to you and respect you. Please, forgive me. Then why don't you cut ties with your mom? She's the reason why we're in this mess. She's ruining our marriage. Sorry, I can't do that. She's my own mother, see? I can't just abandon her. She's the only family I have left. Well, I guess that's what I expected. You always choose your mom over me. I don't really care. Let's only communicate about the divorce. I don't want to talk to you about anything else. I bought a scarf. I think you like it. It's your favorite color and it's very soft. I want to give it to you as a gift. So you need to tell me where you live. Please, Molly. Please tell me. I can't. Your mom picked that out for you anyway, didn't she? She's trying to manipulate you and me. She's pretending to be nice, but she's actually evil. How did you know that? Did she tell you? Did you talk to her? That's the worst. I don't want that. I don't want anything from you or your mom. You can keep it or throw it away. I don't care. Don't say that. Let's not get divorced and live together again. I beg you, Molly. I love you. I don't want to lose you. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. I'll divorce you no matter how long it takes. I don't love you anymore. You've hurt me too much. Bye. Wait, don't leave me. Don't abandon me now. I need you. I can't live without you. Please, don't go. Go home to your beloved mommy, loser boy. She's the only one who wants you. I don't want to see you ever again. Goodbye. Forever. My husband ended up staying at a hotel that day, along with his travel bag that he packed hastily. He applied for more paid holidays from his company and managed to get an apartment for himself. Then he went back to work as if nothing happened. I was finally relieved to get rid of him and his mom. My mother-in-law called me with annoying complaints and insults. So I immediately signed a contract with a lawyer who specialized in divorce cases. And I also issued a warning to my husband, who was waiting for me in front of my office with a pathetic expression. The look on his face was priceless when he saw the warning. After that, there was a lot of wrangling and arguing, but we managed to get divorced in the end. It was a painful experience for me to go through. I learned that I should choose my marriage partner more carefully and not fall for a mama's boy.